This here is sexy power suit day, okay? Now, this is the smartest I've looked for a long time, by the way. You're welcome. Um, I, usually wear, I usually wear T-shirts and jeans or something like that, running around the office. I asked every member of the UK office to come into work in an uncomfortable suit, and they did it. They dressed up like this. Why? I don't really know, but because we have the energy and the kind of staff that want to do it. Now, the real reason is, can you see the guy on the far right with the glasses? See the guy with the glasses? That's Tom. He left Innocent uh, about three months ago to go and work for the government, um, in, in HR in the government. And because I was like, you're going to have a terrible time working for the government. It's going to be really boring. You're going to be wearing a suit every day. I thought, how can we ease him into that life? And so I emailed everybody in the business and said, to say goodbye to Tom, I would like us all to help him embrace the new life he's going to have and wear a suit. And everyone did it. Isn't that amazing? I can ask my staff to do that, and they do it. I think that's just incredible. And these are what we call surprise and delighting moments, including this. We have two lifts at Innocent. If you ask me, they are the most boring part of a building. No one ever does anything a lift. So I went to a big supermarket, and I spent 60 pounds on all that terrible stuff that teenagers buy each other at Valentine's Day. And I turned the lift into the lift of love, OK? <laughs> So I bought a helium balloon, I put bunting up, um, I, uh, I bought a CD player and Barry White. <laughs> put it in the corner, it made for some very awkward lift journeys. It was very good. I bought love heart post-its and stuck them up and I'd written who I fancied in the office. By the end of the day, it was full. Everyone found the moment to tell the person they fancied them. Um, but this costs me £60. Now, a lot of companies have a big budget and I've got a great budget to make these things work. But what I asked for was that £60 not to buy four more bottles of wine at the Christmas party, which would, it would be in my budget, but to make people come to work. This guy, Dan, had a terrible day at work, but the thing he wanted to go home and tell his girlfriend was, look at what Innocent did today. I want to make people smile every day. 